Evening YouTube, Aaron here. I'm um, working on the bus again today, late after work. Uh, it's probably only about 8 o'clock, but I'll be here for a little while. Uh, today I plan on doing a, a little bit of preparation for painting, a bit of sanding and painting, but for the front grille and the uh, little metal strips that go over each of the guards. Um, I've got a mate coming down just to hang out for a little bit, so he's on his way. But for now, I'm just cleaning up a few windows, just trying to scrape off all the old um, stickers and things like that. Just uh, get the preparation ready for just all the, the small details, really. Um, it's Friday night right now. Monday, about midday, that's when the photo shoot's happening. And then I'll be able to seriously get a move on with everything. So it should be good. Anyway, um, I'll do my best to take a few photos and videos throughout this episode. As I don't have my camera gear here at the moment, I've only got my iPhone because uh, I haven't gone home yet today. But I'll get there. Anyway, uh, I'll keep you updated. See ya. Hey guys, all right, we've um, removed all the metal arches off the wheels. Um, they're all here, ready to clean up and paint. Uh, we've also managed to get the front grill off. That's here. I've uh, mastered up, sanded the back. Uh, I've taken the badges off because it looks neater without the badges since they were broken. Um, I've got my mate Will here, who I've mentioned earlier on, and he noticed that. The front grille has these little latches here, so instead of having to undo the screws in front, it's a door and they just undo and it and slots straight out, so it's quite straightforward. So we're going to give this a quick coat of paint now and then we'll get onto those wheel arches. Alright, that's the uh, first coat. We'll let that dry for about 15-20 minutes and then get a heat lamp onto it. And then we'll do some more in a little bit. Alright, catch us later. Alright guys, everything's painted. Uh, as you can see, the grills had a couple of coats put on it. So it's pretty, pretty decent for its age. Uh, all of the wheel arches have had a coat or two as well, so they're going to dry overnight. Um, hopefully, we can give them a coat tomorrow, and then we'll put them back on. I need to go out and get new screws because all the screws were just rusted and all the heads were breaking off, snapping, snapping apart. So once that's all done, we'll get them back on the bus and then fix up a few other small things that need to be done. Um, I'm hoping that the painter will be able to sample the yellow from a, a little lid compartment that I've taken off the bus and uh, once that's sampled we'll be able to get a bit of paint and paint the, uh, the sides of the bus because the yellow that I mentioned in my other clip it wasn't the right one it was perfect on the can but once it went on the bus it looked like a lemon it didn't have enough orange in it anyway um, that's it for today, and this episode is going to have two parts in it. That's going to be the first part, and the next part will be removing the rest of the seats, and we'll go from there. Cool. Catch us later. See ya. Hello again. All right, we're um, not in part two of episode four yet. We're still in the first part, but it's a different day. 
Um, the last thing you would have just seen would have been the grill and the wheel arches being sprayed. They're dry now and they've come up quite nice. So I've decided the little rubber strips that go where the wheel arches are, we're going to give them a spray as well. So now those are these rubber arches here. They peel off. They peel off and what we're going to do is we're going to give them a scrub, let them dry. And then from there, we're going to give them a coat of paint of Rust-Oleum Peel Coat, which is a special rubber coating paint. Uh, it's a, supposed to be extremely durable, um, suitable for automotive use, which is also, also perfect, and give us a nice clean look. So I bought a couple of sponge scarers. We'll clean them up, get them dry, then we'll give them a coat, and then while they're drying, I'll pop the grill back on. Then hopefully we can get all of the wheel arches back on today, being Sunday. Tomorrow's the big day of the photo shoot. And then we'll move forward from there. All right, let's get started. We're back again. Um, it's been a few days since the first part of this video, uh, of this episode. What, um, what's been happening is we had that photo shoot. Um, it, was, it sounds like it was quite successful. Uh, hopefully I get a copy of the photos in the magazine probably in a few weeks time when the, when the editing is all finished. Uh, besides that, I've just been working out a few things in my head. Uh, tonight, we're here to remove the remaining seats, the last rack, and hopefully the poles at the front that divide the cabin with the, um, with the rest of the bus. Um, I've spoken with the gentleman that's organizing my appliances and entertainment system that I've already ordered uh, from Harvey Norman, and nearly everything's in. There was one appliance, which was the oven. Uh, it's an LPG powered oven, but I didn't know there was two different models. There's one that's a, um, like a conventional sort of style oven, and there's one that's fan forced, and naturally the fan forced oven's the better one. So I had to change it to the fan forced one. Um, but you'll see all of that when it gets delivered, and I'll run you through an episode just on the appliances. So today, let's get this all on a roll and then get the floor plane happening. All right, let's get started.
Seats are out, racks out. I'm about to sweep the floor, and we've got lots of space. Um, not much else to say, so let's keep going. That brings us to the end for today's episode. The um, poles and the divider at the front have now been removed. Uh, it's very tricky, all of the uh, flathead screws that went everywhere that have been there for the last 20 odd years. I hate flathead screws. Anyway, there we are. It makes the front look um, bloody heaps bigger. So I'm going to continue cleaning but I'm not going to bore you with that so I'm just going to clean out get it ready for the the masking out of the floor plan and we'll go from there um, that's pretty much it all right anyway I'll uh, catch you all in the next episode which is episode five cool see you then bye